Hey, I'm Arnold Thompson, CEO of No More. This is a short video on how to give instructions. Let's jump right in. Before we go into a specific example, we have a few rules of thumb that's always good to keep in mind when sending projects. The first thing is, remember to always state the deadline. Try to keep it as short as possible. State which templates you use, in case we, we should just use the prior one. And then provide yellow stickers for more detailed instructions. In the following, I'll take you through how these rules of thumb apply to a real example. Alright, so for this example, I would like you to imagine that we have three slides that need some serious alignment work. We have another three slides that are not looking too interesting that we would like to visually enhance. Then we have some input from my colleague Michael. We have a drawing I made up and we have a graph that we would like to recreate. Alright, so if I open up my current document, you can see I'm working on that document about the, the culture and how it is to work here at No More. And, and looking at the slides, you see, you know, the colors are right, the templates right, but you know, things are a little bit all over the place. The things doesn't align, and you know, they could, they could definitely use some help. We have different font sizes. A lot of things are sort of out of sync. As we move along in the deck, you notice that some of these slides are a bit dull. They don't have any form of illustrations, icon, or anything else going. So we will definitely like to change that. To make sure that the specialists of No More conduct the, the right form of formatting of these slides, I had uh, specific stickers to each of them, instructing them to visually enhance them. In this page by Curiosity, I'll add a simple yellow sticker, I'll tell the specialists to visually enhance them, and then I'll add them, ask them for some icons, but also tell them that they are more than welcome to change the structure if they like. For this slide with the table, Again, I want some icons added, and I want to make sure that it's aligned with this idea of the persistent mindset. For the last of the visual enhancement slides, I also add a yellow sticker and emphasize the importance of ensuring consistency across the previous slides. Moving on to Michael's slides, you can see that Michael's slides in general look pretty good, but also that Michael has applied a different template than me, so I definitely want no more specialists to align that and make sure that the same template is used. Alright, so for the drawing I made, I'll go to my email, find the, the picture of my drawing, and I'll pull it into PowerPoint. I want to make sure that I update the title, as you can see the, the picture currently doesn't have a title, and to make sure that the specialist actually transform this picture into an edible graph, I add a small yellow sticker with some specific instructions. The last part of the presentation is an infographic that I found in a report by McKinsey. To include the infographic into the presentation, I'll use a Microsoft snippeting tool. I'll then make a quick capture of the infographic. I'll use the, the red pin to indicate which part I don't want to have included. I then add the caption to the slide. Like before, I add a quick title and a yellow sticker with some specific instruction to the specialists. Alright, so all the inputs are ready. So all that's left now is sending the email to No More. So I'll go into files, click share, make sure that the file is attached, and send the email to request at nomorehours.com. I'll then write a short email. Since I already added yellow stickers, in the presentation, there's not a need for adding a long email, and I'll then simply send it off. About a minute later, you'll receive a short confirmation mail, confirming that the mail has been received. Once a human has looked into your request, take a closer look at the input, you'll receive an additional confirmation mail, including a deadline of when you should expect the project back. Alright, if we fast forward to the next morning, You'll see that I have an email in my inbox from Normal containing the presentation. When I open the email, I have a link to the uh, file, and I also have a, a short feedback survey that I will get back to in a second. Taking a quick look at the slides, you can see that everything is now in the same template. You see that the slides have been visually enhanced with, with different icons and now follow up the same style as the rest of the presentation. Michael's slides has also been adjusted and the 
drawing I did has been created into edible PowerPoint elements, uh, and the same as the infographic that I posted. One of the last things to notice is the sticker on slide 7. No more added the sticker to make sure that I selected one of the options. And I think I like the second option the best, so I'll keep that and delete the other file. Since I really like the work done by no more, I'll finish up the video by providing a quick feedback. I'll go back to the email, I'll click the 10 out of 10. As you can see, the page opens up to uh, no more's web page. Well, I'll add a short comment, stressing that I preferred option 2, and in general like the service. This feedback allowed Nomos to capture my preferences for future projects, making sure that things are more consistent in the future. That was the last part of the video, I hope you found it helpful, thanks a ton for watching.